position of not agreeing with either side. I find the arguments of the proposers frivolous and sentimental. I can't believe how sentimental some of the arguments about all we need is love, for God's sake. And I can't, I didn't say all of you, I can't agree with all the arguments on this side, which tortuously pursue the blindingly obvious. Why do we have families? Because they are nature, because they grow, because a man and a woman make a child together, and I don't know why. That turns out to be important. The little child knows it's important right from the very earliest. You don't need to be academics counting up all the number of papers written on this and that. You can see the effect of it. In general, it's natural, it's nature, and anything else is pretend. And when dear Mr Cohen says he wants to be a father, he wants to be a pretend father. And he knows... <laughs> And he wants his partner to be another pretend father. And it's pathetic, not for them. People that pretend proliferate throughout our history. It's tragic, no! <laughs> Remember, can you? It's tragic for the children. Think of Frederick II, the Holy Roman Emperor, wanted to find out whether speech in children was genetic. So he took a certain number of babies away from their mothers and brought them up without the sound of a human voice or a human caress or human contact. Do you think that's right? Because he believed in science. He really, really believed in science. But he was a wicked man. And the children were dead by the time they were three. I apologise in one respect for not taking points of order. But it throws you. So having said it once, let it stand for all, if you don't mind. So I think what you ought to vote for is a very sinister motion. A motion that says the government can decide that some children are selected by means quite beyond their control to be brought up by people um, without a mother and without knowledge of their father. I think that's very wicked. I don't think... <laughs> adoption happens. It's not arranged to have children without parents. It happens through catastrophe, because the parents are drug addicts, because they don't care, they're delinquent, <laughs> they die. No. There's all sorts of reasons. There's all sorts... You're not. There's all sorts of reasons why children need adoption. And nobody's even arguing that all... I just don't think it's a question of gays. I think it's just saying, look at me, look at me, look at me. It's not about bloody gays. It's about bloody children and what they need. And to willfully deprive them by allowing them. I mean, even you've mentioned Elton John. OK, very sad. He said last year he was heartbroken to see that his son realised, realised at four that he didn't have a mother. And he said, we'll have to get another child. And he might have added, because misery loves company. It's going to cause trouble. We've been doing it for 10 minutes in hot historical terms. It's going to produce trouble with these children. It's very unfortunate. Who do they blame? Who do they take it out of? All parents know who they take it out of when they're adolescents. They pass through it and they come out as almost human. But it's very complicated to rear a child and there's no doubt that it needs, if it has one, a mother and having a pretend father and a pretend father in place of a mother is ridiculous. What? <laughs> <laughs> what was that yelp? I hope this doesn't sound patronising Pardon? I hope this doesn't sound patronising Oh, how could it? Oh. But your entire line of argument seems to be rested on something which is very well documented. Oh, here we go. We're at Oxford. If it's not documented, it's not, it's not bloody true, is it? No, I reject all those ridiculous arguments. Ask yourself. Ask yourself. I even despise you all for being in the same cart. 
I despise the fact that you all punch the air. Something that 20, 30 years ago, you would have punched the air in the opposite direction. All sodomites are wicked. Damn them. Imprison them. You're talking about... You're just group thinkers, all of you, because you go to Oxford and Cambridge and because you afterwards govern the country, we're falling to bits and in a terrible mistake. No, absolutely no. Absolutely no information. The information I want to give you is all of you. I want all of you to consider the position of your mother in your life. Would you be without her, even if she's a slut, even if she doesn't go out, <laughs> even if she doesn't go out in the snow, <laughs> even if she doesn't go out in the snow and stand with you in your exams, even if she doesn't fulfil any of the criteria for what somebody or other believes is a good mother. She is your mother. She gave you birth. She gave you life and you owe it to her to vote against this rotten motion. Thank you.